Hillel of Buffalo was established in 1946 by Arthur and Dorothy Goldberg and served students at what was then the University of Buffalo and Buffalo State College. The mission was to stimulate Jewish cultural, social, and religious activity and promote philanthropic and educational endeavors. In 1960, the Hillel House at 40 Capon Boulevard, near the UB South Campus, was opened for the students. The students held a variety of programs, including fundraising drives to send supplies overseas to Zionist settlers, dances, and educational lectures. Students made lifelong friendships through their Hillel connections. Many couples even met their spouses through Hillel. I was taken by her immediately, and um, I was 22 and she was 18, and I was very aggressive and scared her <laughs> off. And it took me eight years after we dated for a month, it took me eight years to get her to date me again, but it all worked out. <laughs> this is Rabbi Shai Mentz, who is the Hillel Rabbi, marrying both of us. He knew both of us as kids and then through Hillel. So it made sense to have him do, <laughs> do the wedding. My three best men, uh, besides my brother-in-law, were all people that I met in Hillel. They were my brothers. Uh, and my roommate, who was my best man at my wedding, actually became a rabbi. Uh, and he was heavily influenced by Rabbi Mintz from Hillel. I actually spent six years involved with Hillel when I was in college. Every week it was, that's where I went on Friday night because that's where my family was. Hillel was my family. I think what you had was a lot of open-minded people because every, people came from so many different backgrounds and I came from an actually a very conservative background and Hillel was the first time I experienced any kind of egalitarianism. When you're a kid, you're forced to go to Hebrew school by your parents and you're told you will go to shul. But when you go to college, Hillel becomes a choice. And you make that choice to be part of that Jewish community. And if you make that choice to be part of the Hillel community, eventually you become a community leader in your own hometown. Today, the Hillel Center in the UB Commons on North Campus is a welcoming space where students socialize, work on projects, attend programs, and host their own activities. I call it the Jew Sanctuary. It's pretty fun. Um, there's always something going on. Everyone here is super friendly and you have, you, everyone has something in common. Maybe it's the fact that you go to the same university, you went to the pla same place in Israel, you like the same stuff, or it doesn't even have to do with Judaism or anything else. Everyone here is super nice, and you'll always find something in common with others. Halal is enriching my life by um, keeping me in touch with my Jewish roots. It's really continuing like my involvement and acknowledgement with the Jewish community, and um, I want to keep that going and keep students that are Jewish aware of their background and just involved with things that we're doing and building like friendships within the Jewish community and Russian-speaking community. A lot has changed in the world of higher education from the early Hillel days, but many partnerships and the fundamental mission remains intact. Hillel's Summer Internship Program is an example of a new initiative that helps students gain important professional experience while exploring the rich opportunities available in Western New York. We are set up with these internships around Buffalo and we've been given the opportunity to network professionally and develop personal connections as well as learning about Buffalo and hopefully making a difference in the Buffalo community. Another popular program is the Jewish Learning Fellowship, or JLF, when students gather weekly to explore life's big questions through a Jewish lens. I thought that was just a super insightful experience because it was connecting all of the past things and our roots to modern day uh, topics. 
Education has always been at the center of Hillel's programs. Hillel offers a popular class each semester for students to learn about Israeli society. Hillel also offers birthright trips to Israel each year, where Hillel staff takes students to Israel to spend a life-changing 10 days exploring the country. UB is a super diverse place and we have students coming with a variety of Jewish experiences. And one of the things that I really love is seeing the aha moments that they have, this feeling of, of connectivity to their culture, their history, their people. And this often happens on Birthright. And while staffing these experiences, I love fostering that aha moment and bringing that back to campus with these students and, and really watching them as they go down their Jewish journey. The opportunity to not just participate in community, but to help build that community gives students a sense of ownership. And what we want them to leave with is that they love that experience so much that wherever they live, they want to be leaders in the Jewish community. Also, uh, you know, very proud of our staff team here and that there are adults on campus who are not their professors who are here for them to support them. And it happens with some frequency that students come into our office to talk about something really serious or difficult that's going on in their lives. And we know that they need that kind of support and we're really grateful to be in a position where we can provide that support for them. You know, sometimes students come in to college and they haven't had the best Jewish experiences, you know, or they didn't learn that much, or they feel like they're not a good enough Jew. I hear that a lot. And to me, if you're Jewish, you're Jewish, and we all have more to learn. And so it's not about judging yourself against, you know, some standard that you actually don't think you really want to do or reach, um, but showing actually how much of a part of your community you are, um, that you belong here, that we want you here, and that we're all learning and then finding themselves involved in ways that they never expected. And it's not their parents telling them that they need to do it, it's because they want to. It's amazing. From Federation's perspective, our Hillel is a jewel. It's a jewel for a variety of reasons. One, it makes a huge difference in the lives of college students who are here in Western New York, and that's very important to us. And secondly, it's a jewel because it's led by extraordinary professionals and volunteers. And so that combination of great professional leadership, great volunteer leadership, and the impact that it's having on students' lives make it an organization that we are thrilled to support and excited uh, to celebrate with on this 75th anniversary. Kol HaKavod to Rabbi Sarah, to Logan, to Macy, to Mark Adler and the entire board of directors, to our partners like Rob Goldberg and Federation and the university who play such a critical role in supporting and advancing the work of Hillel of Buffalo. It's just wonderful to be able to celebrate this 75th anniversary and I cannot wait to see what further impact Hillel of Buffalo can have in inspiring the Jewish journeys of thousands of students uh, coming through the university and as a model Hillel for the entire Hillel movement. Congratulations to Hillel for 75 years of supporting our students here at UB. It's an amazing feat and we are so grateful for all you've done for our students over the years. Let me just say that life outside the classroom is just as important as life inside the classroom for our students' success. Making friends, connecting with others, sharing values and, and discussions, and having a safe space to go to is so important. And we appreciate everything that you've done to help our students find that connection.